during Passover, I always reflect on my journey, um, specifically the second day of Passover, because it was then that the Nazi found us where we were hiding um, all together. And I remember that uh, my mother was feeding my younger sister applesauce, and the Nazi busted into the, our hiding place and just pulled uh, all the, the, the men and the grandparents out saying heraus, heraus, heraus. And I reflect on that evening and see how far um, I have I've come from that time. Uh, the way how things changed in one second. In one second, you know, uh, there is, um, uh, you're feeling a tiny bit secure and then your whole life is shattered by, uh, by this one instant. So um, I, I find that it's a great privilege and um, the luck that I have in being able to spend with uh, my husband, my children, our grandchildren, uh, this Seder, and um, how wonderful it is to be able to be free and to celebrate the way you want to celebrate and to do what you want to do. Uh, I do remember that after the war when I was in an orphanage in Antwerp, Belgium, the one thing that I do remember, I don't remember what we ate, there probably wasn't a lot of food, I know we had matzah, but I do remember there were about 300 children from Czechoslovakia, from Romania, from Poland, from Germany, from France, and I do remember that uh, we went looking for the Afikomen, and if I remember correctly, it was the youngest child in the group because we sat around round tables and the youngest child at that table would go and look for the Afikomen. And if I could compare the table then and what we have here in our family, it is just a miracle to me that um, I am here today and have this uh, luck to be able to spend it with my family and our friends and to live in America because to me the most important thing in the world or the most important country in the world uh, is uh, America and I thank God for all the things that I have and I want to wish everybody a very happy, happy Passover. <laughs>